everyone, some gamer dude here. So the German distributor for Force of Will has put out an article about the Dragon God Saga, what the Germans are calling the Epic of the Dragon Lord. I think, I thought, I should say, we could read through it, speculate, extract information, and just have a general chat about what we're looking forward to next month, because the previews start next month. Next month is only a few days away now, about a week. So, let's just get started. A merciless dragon god, intruder from another dimension. Five dissimilar heroes brought together by fate. A showdown that will determine the future of the world. The Dragon God Saga, the first set in the new saga cycle, takes us into the forceful history between the Rhea Cycle and the Grim Cycle, and is under the motto, Five Against Ragnarok. In this set, everything revolves around them five heroes. More precisely, Oboro Zukuyo, Wesler, Mikage Seidro, and two other characters, who dared face the dragon Ragnarok thousands of years ago and hunted him down after a fierce battle. The saga cycle illuminates special events of historical significance from the Forceville background story, which so far have only been mentioned in stories and mood texts, and relies on both familiar and new characters and game mechanics. Sorry for the lack of grammar, it's just because it's coming from German to English via Google Translate. But there's some very interesting statements from those three paragraphs alone. First, in this set, everything revolves around them five heroes. In this set. Not in this cycle, in this set. Then, the saga cycle illuminates special events of historical significance. So, a lot of people are speculating right now, and I'm inclined to agree, that this sounds like the saga cycle, sorry, saga cluster, will be four separate stories going into four separate events. This could mean a lot of rulers per set, by the way, but it's an interesting way to do things. We'll see if this means that Force of All is going down the Magic the Gathering path, where each set is a different uh, concept, a different location, etc. Or it's just that this is oddly translated, or whatever. There might be other scenarios we don't know. But that is what it sounds like. It sounds like the first set will be about the backstory for Ragnarok. Who knows what the other three are? I don't think there's any backstory for the Wanderer group with Sun Wukong and Reflect Refrain is there. Uh, Charlotte's training is missing, and I think there's a few other things. be interesting. Now, it mentions two other characters. So, this gives us our what we needed, the confirmation that this is not Sylvia. We had already said that she wasn't because she doesn't really look like her. The resemblance is only superficial, but this is confirmation. Lastly, uh, this is a Boro. Now, there is an, another interesting statement in the next part. We'll get back to this. So, a total of six new rules. Oh, sorry, yeah, go away. A total of six new rules are starting. Half of them will celebrate their premiere as rulers. Half of six is three. So let's count. Mikage has had a ruler before. Wesler has had a ruler before. These two are new characters. Let's check uh, Ragnarok. I searched Ragnarok beforehand in the Altavista database. I don't see a ruler. Uh, now, unless they're referring to the whole technicality with him and Gil Lapis, which I don't think they are, um, he hasn't been a ruler before. Same goes for Aboro. She has never been a ruler before. Just search a borrow. That's all that comes up. Then the cards related to her are her two resonators. There is no J rule for her. Interesting. Interesting that this is the case. So, either they're referring to this being a Gil Lapis connected somehow, or all the speculation about a borrow somehow being connected to zero might have more credence than it looks. Now, I will stay, state on this, the resemblance to uh, uh, Zoro is, sorry, Zero, I keep saying Zoro, Zero is superficial itself. I brought up the ruler one of her. Red eyes, hair's very different, hat's similar, but the motif on it is different. 
uh, let's just go back. We'll go back to one of the earliest zeros. Even when she was evil, the Magus of Null doesn't really look like a Boro. And she's a human. Uh, Zero, the Mage of Flash and Light. Sorry, the Flash and Light. Mage Warrior. Yeah, she's got the heart. Uh, it's a different color. Yeah, she's got a symbol on her uh, heart. This is a star instead of a moon. But, uh, yeah, I, I get that there's superficial resemblances, but I don't think that's it, guys. I actually think this might be a typo, that they mean uh, four of them are their premiere. Otherwise, there's some really odd things going on here. So let's continue. There's some other interesting stuff. To contrast, sorry, in contrast to the last two cycles, no additional deck is presented in Die Dragon God Saga, or the Dragon God Saga, and the Archive, which is Shaharazad, Rune Deck, and Foreign Legion, which is Strangers, also have a break for the time being, so none of them are coming back. There is also another cool innovation for that, but more on that in the coming weeks. And that's interesting itself. There is another innovation for that. They're referring to extra decks, but it doesn't have one. There's no new one, there's no returning one, but there's a new cool, innov another cool innovation for that. What are they going on about? Now, the only other way that you could do an extra deck in this manner would be something with the stone deck. It'd be interesting if they go with a magic stone theme of some description, but I, uh, we've kind of already seen that in the Alice cluster where a few rulers needed four copies of a specific stone that uh, connected to their effect somehow. That was like a glorified second regalia. It, it'll be, I'm very curious on what the gimmick for the block is. Because that that's piqued my interest. Uh, what they could be removing the extra deck for that's got a cool innovation. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's just a mechanic, if it's something physical, if it's, say, uh, a new physical mechanic, like you can have two rulers. Uh, that go together and neither is a J ruler or maybe the J ruler is someone else we don't know it'll be very interesting I'm really curious N new keyword abilities like redacted and redacted are arriving but we're not allowed to reveal any more at the moment but it won't be that long until the first spoiler article as it starts in October so yeah confirmation it's October uh, new keyword abilities, interesting, probably relates to that cool innovation. And then we just get confirmation it's going to be the same as Alice Origins 4, which I actually don't mind. The Marvel Rare turned out to be not the fiasco it could have been. It's actually fairly reasonable, I think, at five a box. I'm not concerned about it. It turned out fine. It wasn't as money-grubbing as it really could have been. But anyway, I thought this was a very interesting article. It's actually really piqued my interest. Whoever wrote this, kudos to you. You actually wrote something that's very, very intriguing and gets people interested. I think it's very interesting that half they state half the rulers are new, but clearly that's not the case unless there's some interesting technicalities there that we're not uh, privy to yet. And two other characters, uh, not mentioning them by name, also interesting. We'll see how everything goes. As I said, I am very, very interested. I kind of wish I had a native German speaker to uh, decipher some of, to see if this is all absolutely correct. But anyway, that's all we really have to say on the matter. Uh, when the spoilers start next month, I'll be straight on it like, Pig and Mud, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I really like vampires in this type of game, so Mikage and Abora really piqued my interest. I'm curious on what the two girls and the dragon do. Wesler is basically the only one I couldn't care less about. He doesn't interest me very much. Um, I will say this, the artwork seems to be taking a step backwards. It looks a little amateurish and rushed compared to where it normally is everyone's faces are a little 
off except for the blonde girl and the dragon. Everyone just looks a bit off. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how the rest of the cards look. Uh, for those who are upset about the frame staying the same, they would never have been able to fix it by now anyway. It would have had to wait till, I think, Saga 2 or 3 at minimum to go back. And I don't think they will. I think they expected everyone to just get over it by now. Uh, I, I still think the older one was better, but yeah, I'm kind of over it too. Anyway, I am I think the last thing I just want to mention before we go on, I think it is really surprising and weird that there are no starter decks for this saga, this cluster, saga cluster. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that means that this cluster is kind of just for the established fans and they're going to make a, well, actually that, that might actually be worth talking about right now, before I end this video. This has no starter decks, it's being used to fill in stories, they're making a lot of changes in the template recently, the frame. What if this is the end of the current storyline for Force of Will and after this they're planning on a new uh, revitalization of the game. What if after the Saga Cluster finishes off everything from Grimm and Valhalla, which this seems to want to do, it's filling in backstory, and there's no decks, for so it's not good for new players. What if they're going straight into relaunching the game, a soft reboot? Maybe even a hard reboot, which I don't think... I actually think Europe would be okay with that. Uh, personally speaking, I think Force of Will is best in cluster format, so I might like that. But, oh boy, I do not think America would like that at all. I think America would flip their lid if uh, it got a Vanguard-style reboot. Oh boy. Or even worse, complete reboot with new characters. But, wow, could that be a possibility? That's some keen speculation right there. I, I just really think the angle and the lack of starter decks together is interesting choice. Because every cluster I can think of prior by Grimm has had starter decks. Grimm is the only other one that doesn't, at least to my recollection. Grimm has starter decks in Italy, I think, but uh, nowhere else. Which, again, is interesting. I think they're also trying to make the rulers a little bit more common because with 6, we're probably looking at going back to maybe 2 rulers a box. Maybe they'll go 3 if they want to be generous to get rulers out there. But, yeah, it's, it's fun to speculate. And there's... If Force of does reboot for whatever reason I'm actually not too worried as long as the power level goes back down where it should be but yeah uh, tell me what you think in the comments do you think this feels like an end do you think they're just not printing starters like they did in Grimm for whatever internal reason do you like what you're seeing what do you think of what that article stated are you looking forward to the new cluster tell me in the comments below Thanks for watching, this has been some Gamer Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.